Here I'm going to demonstrate how to download some data from the OECD.org website. Uh, you can get a lot of macro data from here. You need to go to statistics, list of all statistics, and here on you can see all sorts of categories. What we are interested in is unemployment and inflation data, and we get that from the main economics indicators page. On this page you can see a lot of categories. So on the labor category, for instance, we would expect to find the unemployment data. And so you can see there's unemployment data. I struggled a bit to actually see where the data are and after trying a bit I realized what you need to do is you need to click on that little pink symbol here as that will link you to the database. If you are from a logging in from the Manchester computer you should get access to this. So here's a spreadsheet with all the data. They're all sort of labor market statistics. You can see if you scroll on the left, there's a list of different sort of statistics. What we are interested in is the harmonized unemployment rate. We want an unemployment rate. So if you click on that, you'll get a table. You can see on that table, we're having data of different frequencies and there's sort of time along the columns and countries are along the rows have quarterly and monthly data here we will only want quarterly data so click on the frequency and here we can choose the frequency so we only leave the quarterly ticked and we can uh, see for how, how many data we want so we say select date range here and uh, let's say we want data from 1983 quarter one for no particular reason all the way up to the most recent data so then you could look at view, view data but let's click on customize layout because we have the countries in the rows and the times in the columns we want to change that so you can just drag around these titles make sure the countries are in the columns and the time is in the rows and we're going back and we now have a table which has in the rows the different times and in the columns different countries and we only have quarterly data. So next what we want to do is we want to export these data into an Excel sheet or a CSV file. So CSV files, they're usually based, they're comma separated files if you have big data sets, okay? But you see what you need to do here is you need to provide an email address and then when you export to a CSV file, it will send that file to your email address. I don't want to do that here. I don't want to open my email. So I'll export to, X, uh, to Excel for very big data sets that may uh, not be the best way to go. But here I do that. So I open that file, just click some yes, and here's the Excel file. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save it somewhere on my computer and uh, I'll just find a folder where I save it and I'll call it unemployment and I change the format to an XLS workbook or worksheet and I save. So now I have unemployment data for all OECD countries. Let's also download uh, inflation data. F first we were still looking. Let's just check that the data are really nice time order. It's worth checking that um, the spreadsheet looks as you expected. And here we have the unemployment rates for Australia. Let me freeze the pane. Uh, it's easier to look at the data that way. Let's find where the UK is all the way on the right hand side somewhere here we have UK and US data so let's go and find inflation data so we're not looking at labor we are now looking at price at the price category and you can see that there are there's a category consumer prices and in their annual inflation so we can see that table again. It again has the structure of uh, time along the columns and countries along the rows. So let's go to the frequency tab again. Firstly, we'll choose which data, which time periods we want to have. Only quarterly data and we'll start at the same period, 1983 
quarter one all the way to the end and then we change the layout customer customize layout and we will again move the frequency and time to the rows and the country to the columns and then we have time series in columns that's easier to deal with so what we uh, do is we download again so we'll click on export excel there's really nothing to do here but to click the export to xls and we open the file and we shall then again save it enable editing and now we'll save it or I shall save it on my computer in a folder where I will find it again I'll save it as an X Excel workbook and I'll call it inflation there we go so now I have a big spreadsheet with unemployment and inflation data for OECD countries. And again, the, the ordering here looks, looks all right. We can look at the pane, we freeze the pane again. So if you scroll, well, that didn't work. Well, we go back here, freeze the pane. So if you now scroll to the right, the, uh, you can always see the time information on the left. That's quite convenient. Uh, we can find the UK data. Again, you can see there are little marks. Some of these data are estimated. You can, if you go back to the OECD website, you can possibly find uh, exact information on what that means. That means that possibly that these measures for these years aren't quite as good as we may hope. Let's just look at the time series here, and that looks like a very reasonable inflationary time series. We know that we're just below 3% inflation at the very end, or currently in 2013. So that's what you see at the end, but you can also see there are periods with much higher inflation. So what we shall do now is we shall create a new Excel spreadsheet. And We'll save that under some name. I had one earlier, I'll replace that. And we start out with taking the time column from one of the other tables. So let's just copy the time across and we get that into our new spreadsheet. That's the time column and then what we also want is unemployment and inflation and we'll go back and just copy these two columns across now you can see what happens now really it's quite important that you do this once you know get the data from the spread from the OECD database when you go to a database sometimes for the first time you'll always struggle to find exactly what you what you need but that's unfortunately just a fact of life because there's no sort of standardized way of how data are stored and quite often you need to to search a bit until you find the data which you want but it's an important skill to have so here we now have our two columns with unemployment and inflation and let's just print a line graph of the two so let's highlight both columns and we go to insert and a line graph and here's our line graph so you can see the blue one's the unemployment rate and the red one is the inflation rate so please download this data yourself from the OECD website it's a very important skill to know how to get data from the internet sometimes you have to struggle there are different ways even on the OECD website how you could have gotten to these data I just showed you one have fun. It's important to be able to know this.